A little while back, Disney hosted their biannual D23 convention. If you don't know what this is, it's basically where Disney announces a bunch of future projects they have in the works and give us information on what's to come in the future. They announced a lot across the board, but what I'm of course most interested in is what Pixar has planned for the future. And I have to say, I'm actually really excited about their lineup. Pixar obviously didn't expect the huge success of Inside Out 2. I'm sure they knew it would do well, but they never would have imagined it becoming the highest grossing animated movie of all time. And a lot of people were worried that this would affect the future of Pixar and they would go back to only making sequels. But luckily that's not entirely the case. And since it was so successful, we're actually getting a new series called Dream Productions. And from what I understand, it's going to be about Riley's dreams. We finally got a trailer for Pixar's upcoming Win or Lose series. I don't know what was going on with this, they announced this series way back in 2020 and delayed it so many times. I was beginning to think it might just be cancelled at this point. But luckily it does look like it's actually going to be coming out this December. From the looks of it, it actually looks really interesting. I'm not sure how long this series is going to be, if it's just like a few episodes or a full length show that could get multiple seasons. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I find the art style to be really interesting. It reminds me a lot of that Pixar short Sanjay Super Team. Maybe it'll have some sort of connection to that. Either way, it's cool that we'll have some Pixar content for the Christmas season. But I think that the main announcement that most people care about is Toy Story 5. Now this isn't really new news, they said a while ago that they were planning to expand the Toy Story franchise. But now we have an official confirmation that Toy Story 5 is in the works. And they gave us a very brief plot overview. For some reason, Woody's back with the rest of the toys. I don't really know what's going on with that. So it's about the toys' struggle dealing with iPad kids. I'm not even kidding, that's actually what it's about. And I don't think it's Bonnie either. It looks like they're with a new kid now. So if I were to take a guess, it looks like we might be getting a big time jump here. And something tells me that they might be planning on bringing Andy back. I don't really care as much as some people that they keep making Toy Story movies. Some people really passionately feel that they should end the franchise, but I feel like after they decided to continue after 3, anything really goes at this point. Nothing is going to ruin the original movies, they're always still there for you to watch. I'm optimistic that Toy Story 5 will be good. I think Pixar is very careful not to ruin their main franchise. Then there's the announcement of Incredibles 3. This is one I'm really happy about. After Inside Out 2, I would say that this is Pixar's most needed sequel. The story just feels incomplete with the way they left it off at the end of Incredibles 2, and I think they did that on purpose. The fact that the supers are legal now should make for an interesting story. They didn't give us any detail at all really, but wouldn't it be cool if they had this take place way in the future when the kids are all grown up? I feel like that would make for a really good story. If you were worried that Pixar was only going to make sequels from now on, you'll be happy to know that Pixar has an all new original movie in the works called Hoppers. When I heard this, my mind immediately went to Hopper from A Bug's Life, but no, it's not about him. That would be cool though, they should really consider expanding A Bug's Life. This movie has a really strange premise. It's about a girl that wants to live among beavers, so she transfers her conscience into one. To be fair though, it's not the only time Pixar has had some weird ideas. Between this and Elio, it's nice to know that we have some original movies to look forward to. Anyway, let me know what you thought of these announcements in the comments. Thanks for watching and bye!